Welcome back. Well, they've done it. Our three race to the altar couples have completed their final challenge. As part of the wedding prize package they've been competing for, Evans Orchard in Georgetown is providing the venue for their big day for free. Wow. That's a value of more than $5,500. Jen Abney is here today from Evans Orchard with all the details. Great to have you with us today. Thanks, guys. That was such a fun challenge. It was fun. It was. All of them have been great. That yeah. was fun. We got a chance to visit you guys uh -huh. out there. It's a great venue. It's really yeah. great. It's not so great now because it's covered in yeah. snow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but starting in April, it's really, really pretty. The trees green up. In the fall, of course, it's just beautiful. It really is amazing what you guys have done to that space. When did you officially get those renovations done? We started the renovations in 2014. Mm -hmm. So that barn has been in the Evans family since they came to Georgetown. Right. Um, they were in tobacco and cattle to start out. And then when they switched over to the roadside market, um, got out of tobacco, that barn stood vacant. There's, there's the barn. Um, oh my gosh, how beautiful. Renovated in 2014, did our very first wedding in 2014, and it was a friend of the family. So it was mm -hmm. kind of fun to have... You know, her input, what does a bride need, what's a couple want in a, in a renovation in a venue. Mm -hmm. you know, as good looking as this video is, it really still doesn't give it justice because the, the barn itself sets up on a ridge, so you've got such a great vista of yes. the surrounding property. It's awesome. The weather, I mean, the sunsets you can see in the pictures there are one of my favorite things to do. Of course, I'm there for a lot of weddings on Saturday nights, you know. <laughs> Sit out on that porch and just watch the sunset go down, yeah. and it is beautiful. Yeah, and so since 2014, when you did those renovations, you guys are, are pretty packed. Yeah, we stay pretty busy. So we do about 30 a year from April to October. Mm -hmm. um, you can do a few things in the winter. Of course, not now. because well, you got to keep in mind, it's a barn. Yeah. It's a barn, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it is not temperature controlled. Correct. Um, one thing you mentioned, being up on that hill, we have a really great breeze that comes through almost all the time. Yeah. So even in July and August, you know, you yeah. can get a breeze come through. Yeah. But yeah. that breeze coming through in March is a little chilly. <laughs> a little bit chilly. It can bring some yeah. weather with but it you sometimes. you have some brides that are determined, I don't care. They're going to do it anyway. I hate my guests. I want to punish them, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't think that's ever happened. Yeah. But don't they occasionally still want to, because they love the venue so much, they'll take any date you can give them. I have people that ask a lot, yeah. um, especially like Christmas parties, you know, when you think oh, you're in your yeah. sweaters, you could, you know, yeah. bundle up and come. But we just really don't recommend it for yeah. these winter times. Yeah. So do you kind of let um, the bride and groom kind of choose like where they want to do the ceremony? Oh yeah, so you've got the barn, you've got everything in the in the fence there, so you've got plenty of room. I've had people bring outdoor games, I've had people bring inflatables. Um, we've run hay rides out at the barn before for your wedding guests, so maybe you do the ceremony and you've got this you know, hour-long kind of cocktail hour. What are we going to do? We'll, we'll run a hay ride up there for them if that's something that they want to do. Yeah. Has anybody done anything with a silo yet? No. Okay, well, there's an idea. The silo is sitting <laughs> vacant. Um, yeah, we really try to make it special for each bride and groom, what yeah. they want. We try to accommodate as much as we can for them. And we just want to thank you so much yeah. for being a sponsor for this. You know, you got to meet all three couples when they came out there for the challenge. How excited are you to provide this venue oh for gosh, whoever wins? It was so fun. It was so fun getting to meet each one of the couples. Um, you know, their strengths and weaknesses, working with the team from LEX. It was just a lot of fun. So we yeah. were really glad to participate. Yeah, it's well, going to be amazing as for we whoever said, wins. A big thanks to Evans Orchard and all of our other amazing race to the altar sponsors. We certainly do appreciate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming and chatting you. with us today. Yeah. So good to see Thanks, you again. Thanks, guys. Good yeah. to see you. Thank you so much. Okay, tomorrow is the big reveal. We will announce the winning couple live right here on the show. And the winners will be determined based on their total time needed to complete all of the challenges. Stay with us. Head of the Day is coming up next.